Hello, and welcome to another video. It's been a while since I had a soft spoken video recorded. So, based on your requests, here it is. Today, I am making eggplant parmesan, and I already pre cut two medium eggplants into quarter to half inch slices and I sprinkled some salt on both sides of each slice and left them for about Ten minutes to sweat. So after it's ten minutes were done, I took a clean paper towel and um patting each of the slices, putting them on a plate for further assembly. It's a bit of a tedious process, but I promise we'll get through it. On my left, I have pre-made three dishes. One has Flour, and you can choose whatever flour you want. The other has beaten three eggs, and the last one, the one closer to the window, has a mix of homemade breadcrumbs and parmesan cheese freshly grated the homemade breadcrumbs I made from the baguettes that you might have seen earlier one of them or half of it became a bit stale intentionally so I made it from that after sprinkling some oil on this sheet just spreading it with a silicone tool just to make it even and now I am pretty much ready for assembly. Take one slice and put it in the flour first, both sides. Not much, just a thin layer. Then dip it into the egg. Flip. Make sure there's enough egg. Then put it into your breadcrumb mixture that has not only my sourdough bread, well, it wasn't sourdough, so my baguette that was, um, I put it in a blender, small pieces, and then. I added Italian seasoning, two teaspoons, and then I added garlic salt, and like I said, Parmesan cheese, mixed it all together to make this homemade delicious 
cover for your eggplants. As you can see, I'm switching hands here to make it less messy. But it's still going to be a bit messy. Cover each slice of eggplant thoroughly with a nice layer of breadcrumbs and cheese. And repeat it all over again. Dip into the egg mix and the breadcrumbs and cheese mixture. Put it on your sheet, baking sheet, and repeat again. You can also fry it on a stove top instead of baking. It's an, a good alternative. You have to have a bit more oil to make sure they cook properly. And you'll probably have to do it in batches as it takes time to cook the eggplant through a bit and make sure everything is nice and crispy. So I decided to just bake it probably also a bit healthier, especially if you want to reduce your oil consumption, or if you like a stove top, go for it. It's a delicious meal regardless. Repeat with your eggplants. Slice my slice. Also make sure to cover the sides more or less, although they won't be as sticky as the main flat part. But as you can see, breadcrumbs really do stick nicely to the flat making nice eggplant slices covered with pure deliciousness, top-notch ingredients. You can also make, um, buy just regular breadcrumbs, but I find that I have enough bread as I bake bread all the time and often don't eat all of it being living alone. Um, so I end up having bread that could be potential used for breadcrumbs. If you put it in blender, it's very easy to make them. And you know exactly what you're putting in your body. Although I have to say I like Trader Joe's breadcrumbs. Very delicious. Now you can see I'm using a few smaller slices. And that's because I ran out of space on the sheet. So I need to fit as many as possible. And I think that's it. So I'm going to wash my hands very quickly. Nothing serious. Open the oven and stick these into the lower level of my oven. And that was preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's time for a second batch of leftover 
So I'm taking this pizza sheet that will not be using for pizza and just applying some of the olive oil. I'm not using oil here just because I was I didn't want to make too much noise. But I repeat the same steps with that plant. It's kind of difficult as the ingredients are getting sparse, especially the breadcrumbs. That's okay. And just put well, first I use the larger pieces just because it's easier to arrange the pieces on a sheet when you have largest ones already placed and then the smaller ones can surround them And one more, another big one, and it's interesting because they continue to sweat as when you pat them down, you don't remove all the salt, so some of them ended up being wet, especially on the bottom. But that worked really well when you put them in the flour. Just like that. A few pieces left. Flour both sides. Egg or whatever is left of the egg. You can see the bottom already left over breadcrumbs like that must be the last piece yeah can't do many more but I'm still going to bake all of the pieces of eggplant because even if they are not covered in all the delicious ingredients flour and then the egg mixture is already almost gone as well that's okay that's okay alright put it on the sheet one more plenty of flour still just so all this egg mix left over onto this last piece and put it on the sheet and the rest I will just bake as it is with nothing on them just like that and just um, while they're in the oven I'm going to do a quick clean up as you can imagine, all these ingredients create a mess. So I'm just going to wipe the countertop with these towels, paper towels, that I used to pat the plants dry. surface is relatively clean. I will take a small towel and wipe it dry to create another perfectly fine sur surface to cook. Again, make more delicious food. I'm going 
to after about 10 minutes we're going to flip the flip the these eggplants i'm going to just do the bottom shelf as i loaded them in first remember and flip them they're not burnt nice and crispy on one side and most definitely will become crispy on another side it's a bit difficult to flip them as i will be stuck to the foil even though i apply generously oil but that's okay all right i'm going to switch sides and put them back in like that and then about five minutes later i'm going to do the same with the top level it's a little bit harder to flip these because there was not as much oil and there is no level of delicious bread crumbs and parmesan on some of them to flip but others are very nice and crispy look at them just like that flip them small and large next this one One more, like that. And the last one, it's stuck to the surface. It's okay. Put them back in. And close the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. I'm also switching, increasing the temperature to 400 degrees. To prepare for the second part of baking. I lined one of my sheets already baking. You can use the casserole for this as well. I'm taking out the main batch of eggplant. Look at this, how golden and crispy. So, I'm going to choose this three cheese marinara sauce. From Trader Joe's, I'm going to attempt to open and just put a layer of sauce on the bottom, not too much, and then spread it evenly all around on the bottom of this baking pan more or less evenly, leaving as few gaps as possible, like that, very good, okay, taking one of the big slices, putting it on the bottom, and doing the same thing with another one, like that, mm, maybe not this way, alright, smaller size and one more small next maybe switch it up okay yeah this one is definitely better sized okay next is a layer of mozzarella no actually I'm going to put just some tomato sauce again you can switch things up as you wish, just to spread on top of each eggplant evenly. You can also use more and just spread all over to make it almost like lasagna with eggplants, but I didn't have much to spare, so I used it just for the tops 
now is the mozzarella cheese. I got this from Costco. Just fresh mozzarella that's already pre-sliced. Like that. So I'm going to take a couple of slices and put them right on top of each eggplant like that. Very easy. You can also use shredded mozzarella. But I prefer to use fresh when I can. Cover it up with another similar size eggplant. Although you can sprinkle some parmesan on top of your mozzarella. I decided not to this time. Okay, this little one. And the bigger one like that. Perfect fit. I'm gonna use bit more of this sauce right on top right here. Again, I'm just using to cover the tops of each little stack of delicious eggplants. But if you have extra, you can use it and just again for for the whole dish, it might actually add a bit more flavor. Alright, now I'm going to cover with more mozzarella. And one more slice, like that. And now, I'm going to also take my Italian Parmesan cheese. And my grater and uh, just use freshly grated parmesan cheese. I mostly recommend buying cheese in blocks like these instead of shredded because they, for parmesan specifically, they add like sawdust or something like that to maybe not sawdust but some kind of ingredient to make the pieces of cheese not stick together. I don't really want that. I'm gonna put it in the oven like that. And in the meantime I am reusing the foil. That's why I didn't put new foil right on the, in this pan because I wanted to reuse it. Again, sustainability perspective. And uh, there's also some delicious breadcrumbs there. Just like that. And then put a generous amount of sauce. And I'm going and realizing here that my sauce supply is getting very low, so I'm going to just use half of the pan to bake the rest. I'm going to put one eggplant like before, second, third, or large pieces. And now I'm going to take out that second batch and use them to bake this to assemble the second platter right here. Alright, a little bit hot, so I'm using a spatula. Okay, next, same kind of deal as before. Take some sauce. Now, another thing to know that this sauce has cheese on it already, so this is a very indulgent meal. So if you want to make it less indulgent, I would recommend using just regular sauce. Regular tomato sauce. It's up to you, or you can make your own. Mozzarella slices go next, like that, then eggplant, 
slices and I'm using the one that I breaded so that they can be as delicious as possible look at that looks terrific alright I'm going to use the remnant of these of this sauce and really not much left I'm going to try and uh, get more out but then my silicone tool got stuck in the jar and I just didn't want to be bothered at that point so I decided to just use what I've got without making too much noise I'm going to just use the sauce I've got, spread it as much as I can on the existing pieces right there and grab a little bit more sauce from the bottom put it on this last stack of deliciousness like that, some breadcrumbs too yeah. Okay, now my mozzarella slices go next. One, two, three, four, and one more. One more. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is take those regular eggplant slices and just stack them up. I don't have much seasoning on them and to use the remaining mozzarella just break it apart and spread it evenly on the slices to give them a little bit of color and make them more delicious like that and then finally I using some of my mozzarella um, parmesan just shred it like that like that all over creating another small like layer on top of mozzarella like that Very good. All this cheese, all this deliciousness. This is a very great duster, by the way. Just got it not so long ago. I'll put a link in the description. I really love it. Use it for a whole bunch of things at this point. Excellent. And uh, wonderful traveling to you. All right, next we are going to put these puppies into the oven right next to the already melting mozzarella. All right, fit nicely. Perfect. Slide them back in in 30 minutes. Bake. Now, 30 minutes later, we're going to take them out. First, I'm taking out the ones that baked, like that. And then I'm going to leave the other ones just a little bit longer since I they haven't baked for enough time. Now, on to the eating part. Oh, look at this. How deliciously cheesy that is. Stuck to the foil a bit. I'm going to try to get it out as much as I can. Both sides. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Slice. And this is the smallest one, too. 
all this cheesy goodness like that. Very good. Look at this. Just amazing, right? All this cheesiness. It's definitely enough cheese. Right? Close up. Amazing. Enjoy. 